Hey everybody, I am so excited about today's video. My last video I mentioned a company called How To Be A Redhead and you can find them online at howtobearedhead.com. They also have a YouTube channel called How To Be A Redhead and they have an Instagram. I just wanted to go ahead and show you really quickly their Instagram. That's how I found them. They're fairly active on Instagram so if you follow them they'll, they usually post something every day. Um, so yeah, if you just want to find them on Instagram and go ahead and give them a follow that would be awesome. They actually saw my video and they sent me some of their products which I thought was super sweet and I'm so excited to share with you today. So they sent me this cute little package and on the back it even has the hashtag rocket like a redhead. That's their hashtag. I actually found them on Instagram. I don't even know how I found them but I found them on Instagram and I've been following them for several months and then I've seen their products but I haven't had a chance to get any yet so they sent me some in the mail. They sent me some business cards and some little flyers and they sent me their two products that I'm super excited about. The first one is Redhead Bobby Pins. I mean really, you can't find these things in the store, seriously. You can't find them in the store. Every time I go to the store, I'm like brown or blonde, brown or blonde. So I've never had Redhead Bobby Pins before, so I'm so excited about these. Aren't they really cute? They're gonna be so cute. Um, so I think the top color will probably match my strawberry blonde hair the best. And then secondly, they sent me these redheaded ponytails. Are you kidding me? Look how cute they are. I've been waiting to film this video to use them. But look how cute they are. There's even sparkly ones. And we all know I like sparkles, so I'll probably use those the most. But yeah, I'm so excited because no stores carry redheaded stuff. Like, they just don't. I mean, come on. I'm tall and I'm a redhead, so I'm definitely not like on the charts. So I'm super, super excited about these. So yeah, I wanted to show you um, this video, I'm going to use the bobby pins and then the next video I'll do something with the hair bands. And I just wanted to show you guys how I'm going to use these redheaded bobby pins. I'm actually the first style, I'm going to kind of show off the bobby pin instead of hiding it in my hair because usually you want to hide your bobby pins, but this time I want to show them off. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to pin back my bangs with these cute, these redheaded bobby pins so they'll match my lips and then... The next style, I will kind of hide the bobby pins, so I'll show you two different ways to use these awesome, adorable redheaded bobby pins. Okay, so for the first hairstyle, you are going to need either two or three bobby pins, and you need a little comb or just like a bobby pin just to straighten out your part. And you don't have to have curly hair. I have curly hair because I kind of wanted this hairstyle to look a little bit retro, but you can use straight hair, curly hair, whatever. That doesn't really matter. So first off, you're going to want to straighten out your part as best as you can. I have wispies, so it's kind of hard. Okay, so now that your part is straight, go ahead and grab uh, it doesn't matter what color, I'm just using the bright red because it matches my lipstick and this is about being a redhead after all. So grab two or three bobby pins and then I'm going to show you two ways to do it. This, you can do this if you have bangs or if you don't. I do this a lot because I have bangs and they drive me crazy so I like to pin them back. So the first way is just to hold your hair back and grab your bangs and then just lightly twist them, just barely twist them, and place them on top of your hair. Kind of twist your other hair into it. And then you this is when you're gonna use two bobby pins. One goes straight in. Oh my gosh, I love these bobby pins. They're awesome. And the other one's just going to secure it in place. I like to kind of line them up so they look even. Really easy and your hair should stay out of your face all day and then after that just add some hairspray and there you go. Super retro, cute, and easy, right? Okay, so the second version of the first hairstyle is the same thing. I'm just going to place the bobby pins in a different way, a more creative, fun way. And like I said before, this can go with either straight hair or curly hair. It doesn't really matter. I just was going for the retro look. So I curled my hair towards my face. So once again, you're going to grab your bangs and curl them away from your face just a little bit and then grab some of your hair and curl it into it and then kind of just loosen it up a little bit okay you're gonna need three bobby pins grab your first bobby pin I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me okay so slide the first bobby pin in just like you did it the first time 
then grab the next bobby pin and you're going to make a triangle. So that you're going to go up this way and then down this way. Like I said, the hardest part is just to make sure that your hair doesn't get on top of the bobby pin so you can see the triangle. The last one, slide it down and connect the two. Pretty easy and then if you, if you can't see because obviously you're doing your own hair most of the time, just grab the ends and kind of pinch them together and then they'll make a triangle shape. It's really easy and honestly I've never done the triangle shape before and the bobby pins would stay all day but these how to be a redhead bobby pins are super tight and that's always good because my hair is so slick it falls down through the day so I definitely recommend the bobby pins. They're super strong and they're really cute too. And for the next hairstyle you'll need three to four bobby pins and you can choose the color of your hair or you can choose a bright fun color it doesn't really matter as long as you like what you're wearing and then you'll need something to tease your hair with you can use just a teasing brush a tangle teaser or a regular brush and then some hairspray and that's it so three things bobby pin hairspray and then it's something to tease your hair with what you're gonna do this is my go-to hairstyle just if I want my hair out of my face this is usually how I have my hair also you don't have to have curly hair it looks pretty with curly hair, but it looks pretty with straight hair too, so don't feel like you have to curl your hair for this hairstyle either. So first thing, every southern girl knows how to tease her hair, so you're going to tease your hair. Okay, so if you guys want me to teach you how to tease your hair, I can definitely do a video on that. Just leave a comment below and I surely will do that for you. After you tease your hair, go ahead and comb the top layer just a little bit. This time I'm going to use the Strawberry Blonde Color Bobby Pins. I guess that's what they're called. I think they match my hair the best. I'm going to use those and I'll probably use four or five maybe. So grab one side of your hair and go ahead and bring it back. Half up, half down. Just twist it a little bit and bring it to the crown middle of your head. And push it forward a little bit for extra body. Grab one bobby pin, clip it in like you're making an X. And grab the second one and make the X with the bobby pin. So they should crisscross. And then grab the other half of your hair. I'll fix my bangs in a second. Bring it back and twist it just a little bit, just like a half a twist, and place it on top of the first X of bobby pins. And then once again, make an X with the bobby pins. So you're stacking them on top of each other just to make them stronger. Okay, so the back's done. You just have an X on top of an X. And then if you have bangs like I do, just grab those, make sure they're kind of smoothed out, and then grab the end, and then you can grab one of your How to Be a Redhead bobby pins, and just slide it in towards the end. Don't pull them back tight, loosen them up a little bit so your face will still look soft. Go ahead and spray that part because that part will fall throughout the day. And then just fix the rest of your hair how you want it. And then with this hairstyle, you'll want to go ahead and grab a mirror and then go look in your mirror and look at the back of your hair and just make sure there's no flyaways hanging down or any of your bangs aren't in the right place. And just go ahead and either pin those in place or hairspray them in or hairspray them into place. And then like I said earlier, this is just my go-to easy hairstyle. It gets my hair out of my face, but it's still down and pretty and it shows off my red hair. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really had a lot of fun using the bobby pins that they sent me from How To Be A Redhead and I just want to say a special thank you to Adrian and Stephanie for sending me these bobby pins and liking my videos. I really appreciate it. My next video, I'm going to do a video on how to 
style my hair with these cute little how to be a redhead ponytail holders and I'm so excited about that I hope you guys enjoyed this video also go ahead and don't forget to like how to be a redhead on Instagram it is how to be a redhead no spaces and they also have a website that you can check out with some of their products and a YouTube page I hope you guys enjoyed this video I had a lot of fun making it and I will see you guys next time bye